your buddy Bryce from CodeLife.io and in the last tutorial we got set up with the navbar and the footer. So we're looking pretty good. We need to add the jumbotron which will be the kind of the picture in the middle um, with some text over it. And then we're going to duplicate our pages um, with some minor tweaks. So let's go ahead and jump into the jumbotron. Um, so let's go ahead and create a component. Say new file jumbotron.jsx and we'll need a CSS file jumbotron.css all right and then this it's a JavaScript here it says trouble time you get a better plugin or something for Adam um, so just like before we'll import react Oop. component from react let's import our CSS file Jumbotron, 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 CSS. There we go. So now we go class, Jumbotron extends component, we go render, return. Export default Jumbotron. And here, our wrapper tag. Let's make it a div class name equals. So Jumbotron is a bootstrap component. Um, you can find it on their website. If you go up here, I think it's under documentation components. There it is, Jumbotron. So you see Jumbotron is just kind of like a big old, I used to call them like a masthead or something like that. But um, so we're just doing something kind of like this. It's pretty straightforward, nothing wild here. Um, and we'll do Jumbotron fluid. So it'll extend the whole page there. Uh, and then we'll go div class name equals one do container so it kind of brings it in from the edges nicely um, let me close these tags real quick before I forget let's go let's do an h1 tag in there we'll go class name equals display we'll do three it's like one of their layouts they have set up here. And for the text, we'll do this.props.title. So we're gonna pass the title into the Jumbotron because it's gonna be different on each page. So you'll see, you'll see that in a second here. Um, then we'll do P for paragraph class name equals lead. So that's kind of the subheader, subtitle text. Um, and we'll go this.props.subtitle. So we'll pass those those in. Oops, slash p. Close it out. Um, so now if we go back to home. Jsx, and we'll add in our jumbotron. So we want to put it just below the nope, just below the navbar there. So actually, I need to import it. Whoops. Import jumbotron from components slash jumbotron.jsx. Perfect. Oh, before I forget, jumbotron CSS. Probably want to add that in there. So it's nothing crazy. Um, I just set a background image of it. So you remember we added in images. Um, you probably didn't see, I think I stopped the video, but I downloaded that. Uh, picture from Pexels um, and I saved it into this directory images which is one we created so now when I reference it I can reference it uh, internally here um, where were we home JSX yes so we need our jumbotron component 
and we want to let's see we're gonna say for jumbotron we'll say title so we're gonna pass on a property here a props we'll say welcome do subtitle property equals put something witty here that's not how you spell witty is it There we go. Put something woody here. Oop. All right. And let's close that tag. Perfect. So now I think we go back over to home. Bam. So there we go. So you see uh, the Jumbotron component is this whole thing here. And we passed in the text here and here um, for the title and subtitle. So what we could have done, we could have put this elsewhere and could have put it probably in app.js and put it around, you know, the um, router essentially. But we didn't want to do that because I want each one of these to be unique. And so depending on the page, you could um, make certain buttons active or set the current state. You could do a bunch of different things, but um, so that's another approach you could take. You could put it here since you, if you're having the footer in the, now bar show up on every page. You can just put it in one place, be done with it. But at least the nice part is we can edit the footer or nav bar at our disposal and it'll update across all those pages because we include the component inside each one. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and add um, our about page and our contact page. So it'll be pretty straightforward. We're literally gonna just duplicate this here. Say about, oop. About JSX. And we just gotta change a couple things here. Let's do JavaScript. Change that to about. Say about. Say the about. Subtitle. Bam. And changes to about for the page text. Which you could make another component if you wanted to, but um, I'm not gonna bother with it. It's all right. Um, perfect. So now, if I actually have, actually have, let me see. Am I actually doing anything in there? Nope, actually I don't need that file. Let me delete that one. Deleted. All right, and so in our nav bar, we need to import the page. Where's the nav bar JS? So, oh, I'm sorry. It's nav JS, we need to find it here. Man, I'm all backwards here. All right, so, we're importing this page here. Probably duplicate that. So I'm just gonna write it up again here. Route path equals slash about. We'll say component. So the first one we said exact path because we needed to match this exactly. Um, Whereas sometimes you need partial match, so it's like as long as it had this. Um, so you can get more complicated matching. So we'll pass the about component. Boom. So there it goes. If I click about. Oh. Oh, because we didn't wire it up in our navbar. I knew we needed to do something there. So we come over here. This is to slash about. No, that looks good. All right, let's see why this isn't working. If we go here, oh, there it is. That should do it. Boom. All right, now we're navigating. See, capitalization is important. It's not case insensitive. It is case sensitive. All right, perfect. So we have our about page. So let's do the same thing for our contact. Um, 
You can also delete this line here. We're not using that. That was just the old logo. So let's duplicate this guy. I'll say contact. This is where like, we would put our contact page. Change this JavaScript, make it easier to read. Perfect, so you could put a form in here, do something different. I'll just leave it in the same for time purposes here. And then we need to go to the nav bar, which will go to, let's duplicate this. Call it contact, contact. Now we need to come in here do import contact from dot slash pages slash contact dot JSX and add another route. So if it matches slash contact, then we want to render the component of contact. Cross your fingers. The link is showing up. And boom, we go to the contact page. So pretty straightforward. So not too much to that. So all we had to bring in was a couple, we had to create a couple components, footer, header. And like I was saying before, you could have put the footer nav bar, you know, around here. That way you didn't have to, you would just kind of route everything in between. But instead of put it on each one, um, that way you could customize them based on the page, do something different, whatever you want to do. Um, Created pages, we created an about, contact, home. Um, we implemented the React router, all great stuff. So now you have a super basic website you can create um, and make modifications to. You can put this into a component, call it main content. Maybe you pass a couple of props to it, uh, whatever you want to do. So definitely room for you to expand, definitely room for you to play around with it. Uh, the link to the GitHub should be posted. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. Did I mess something up? <laughs> Help me out. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed this uh, video series. That way other people can help. You can help other people find the videos. And stay tuned for more content. Take care, guys. Bye now.